Hey, what's up guys? Mike Redfox. In this video, we're going to do the Ethereum hash rates of the RX 6600. So I don't want to waste any time here. Let's get right to the performance of this card, and then we'll talk a little bit more after that. So you can see on your screen here my Hive OS. This GPU with the overclocks that I have set is mining 28.91 mega hash per second on Ethereum. These are the overclocks I'm using. You can see them on your screen here. Core clock 900, core voltage 620, memory controller voltage 620, and memory clock 950, and the memory voltage 1100. I mess with these settings, plus 10, plus 5, minus 10, minus 5, and really dialed them in as best I can over the last few hours to what I have here. If you use different settings and get different performance for your GPUs, please let me and the community know down in the comment section. Let's talk about power. You see on your screen here the power meter that is running just this GPU and its riser. So the setup is Platinum Server Power Supply, the Sapphire Pulse 6600, and its riser are both plugged directly into that. That power supply is only powering this GPU, and that is plugged into the meter at the wall that you see on your screen here. We're pulling 68 watts. Though it's a platinum server power supply, since I'm running it really low load, we're probably losing a little bit of efficiency there, but this is the best measure that we have. It's definitely better than the measure in the software because AMD does not report accurately in the software. Let's look at the miner. I'm using Team Red Miner. You can see here, hitting that 28.9 mega hash, all accepted shares throughout the last time I've been mining, which is about an hour and a half right now. The card I have, like I said, is a Sapphire Pulse RX 6600 XT. I paid $430 from it, on it from Newegg. And let's take a look at its profitability, and then we'll just do a wrap up. So there's all the metrics entered in for what this card can do, just using a 10 cent default electric cost. And I'm using a $429 cost for the GPU, no tax included since everybody's tax situation is different. We're gonna hit calculate on that. Scroll down, I'm making $2.21 a day in profit on this graphics card with a break even of 194 days. All right, that was a really quick one, but let me give you some of my thoughts on this graphics card. I think the efficiency is really great. It comes in at around 0.425 on the efficiency scale, though there are more efficient GPUs like the non-LHR, 3060 Ti's, 3070's. Um, for availability, although it's still hard to get, I think it's a pretty good purchase, though you see the prices slowly rising, just like the 6600 XTs did when they first came out. So you've really got to look at your break even, the money up front, um, and then if it's worth it for your situation. For me, I got a couple more coming in. I'll probably do maybe a rig of them, but I think 6600 XTs might be the better way to go, depending on where pricing kind of levels out. And I'll do some comparison videos coming up on the channel soon. So please subscribe if you're not already. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is in the description below. Leave some comments down below if you have different settings and your thoughts on this specific graphics card for mining. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.